Madison Central hosted one of the state's top teams, and you have to see the finish from this one. Lexington Christian and Somerset tried to advance to the Final Four of the All-A Classic, and the Lafayette and Henry Clay girls met on the Blue Devils court. We have all the highlights right now on LEX 18 High School Playbook. Or high school sports zone, whatever yeah, you want to call it. Yeah, I you exactly. Yeah. Good evening. I'm a sports director. <laughs> I didn't even know it. And welcome to the award-winning LEX 18 High School Sports Zone. Yes. With my partner Keith Farmer, who's got a big smile on his face. That's right. Trinity, I'm Alan Cutler. Trinity is a serious contender to win the Sweet 16. And Key School, Madison Central, won it all in 2013. Charlie has our game of the week. How's it going, fellas? What a game it was at Madison Central tonight. The state's number one team in town from Louisville. So the Indians' mission? Let's make it a long bus ride home for the Shamrocks. 19-1, Trinity and Madison Central at 16-5. Indians up two with two minutes left. Dustin Gerald's the strong take. Central up four, now 48-46. Isaiah Minter for the Indians, plus the foul. Pandemonium in a packed house. An upset was brewing at Central. Last chance for Trinity. They needed a three to tie it, but they went for a two. That's not going to cut it. Time runs out. Go ahead and celebrate. A huge win for the Indians, 53-52. to 52. Wow, great stuff, Charlie. All-A. All-A matchup between 18-3. and three. Don't get ahead of yourself, Allen. Somerset and 17-4. and four. Mayfield cross Grundy. The deep three here for the Briar Jumpers. But Mayfield raced out to the early lead and hung on. 68 to 64. Now it's your turn. Oh, thanks, Charlie. <laughs> LCA 15 to 6 and Louisville Collegiate 18 and 5. Great defense by LCA. Austin Hall, he makes the block. He runs down court. Watch the spacing for LCA and the great bounce pass. Check it out. Hendrickson with the bounce pass and the reverse for Hall. They keep on passing around. And uh, Rody to Hall. Another reverse. LCA. Man, they're really, really good. LCA wins 64 to 42. Hey, congrats to Henry Clay coach Dana Brown, who was honored with the game ball for his recent 250th win. Lafayette at Henry Clay. Blue Devils running when Marquez Warren all alone for a three, and he nails it. Finished with 17. The Generals, Fu Diallo, comes up with the rebound and gets the putback. Evan Drew led them with 17. Lafayette wins 64-60. It was homecoming at Lexington Catholic where Tate's Creek hooked up with the Knights. Third quarter and James McKenzie with the sweet up and under move. The Commodores down just six. Lex Calf turns up the defense. T.C. Price comes up with the steal, takes it in for the slam. Lexington Catholic wins big, 70-46. My turn? Yep. Okay, the great Cardinals from Scott County. They are 19-1 and 9-9. Frederick Douglas Thompson. He is strong. And then Bryce Long will have a little pull-up. Man, these guys are good. A little fake. No problem. He's smooth. Teamwork. Teamwork. Scott County wins 84-48. 11-6, West Jessamine at 9-10, Madison Southern. How about the old pick and roll? We love fundamentals. Drew Cook, the dish. Kyle Anderson, the bucket. Teamwork makes the dream work. Closing seconds of the first quarter, Trey McCraft. Beats the buzzer, but it was all West Jessamine from there. Dalton Brunner had himself a night. Colts win, 70-44. Thank you, Charlie. Woodford County at home going for their 14th. Frankfurt shooting for their 10th. Nice stuff in the stands. Yellow Jackson, Cromwell. He gets it up. And for Frankfurt, Gabe Hart. Bingo. Frankfurt wins in OT, 66-64. All right, to the ladies we go. Lafayette taking a 17-5 record to Henry Clay, which was 12-9. Second quarter, Henry Clay's Kia Thompson with the drive and floater from part of her game-high 18 points. Lafayette, though, finds Caroline Bennett, knocks down the tray. She had eight. Henry Clay beats uh, the Generals 41-33. How about Coach Sean Ransom making his return to Bryan Station with Frederick Douglass at 5-12, and 12, taking on the 7-11 and 11 defenders. Broncos' Tim Timothy Williams with the drive and shot in the lane. An early lead for Frederick Douglass. The defenders, though, come back. What's the nice fast break? Farrah Lyman there for the finish. Bryan Station wins 68-53. A lot of good passing tonight. The All-A Nicholas County, 15-5. Shelby Valley, 17-3. The Later Jackets, Sowell. Coast to coast, left hand, right hand. Nice, strong move for Nicholas County. The Lady Jackets on the break. 
Hughes goes up strong to the bucket, but the Lady Cats wouldn't go away. And how about Shelby Valley? They go on to win 40 to 31. All right, more all-A action. The Williamsburg Lady Jackets taking on Walton Verona. Lady Jackets making some quick passes. Find Lily Abbott open for the three. She was three for five from three-point range. 15 seconds left. The Bearcats freshman Haley Neely makes the open layup to send this game to overtime. But the Lady Jackets, Lily Hall, finds Kaylee, Kayla Gibson open to take the lead. Williamsburg would not look back. They outlast Walton Verona, 51-47. Also all A, West Carter and Edmondson County. Comets got there thanks to a three from this girl, Reagan Adkins. She keeps shooting threes. Again in this one, Adkins good for the early three. The Comets on a fast break. Hannah Bear passes right to Edmondson County, but Allie Stone would steal it back. Make sure that West Carter gets those two points. Edmondson County wins this one, 63-59. And as always, we, we hope, hope your favorite team won. won. A special congrats goes out to Dakota Brown, a senior of Powell County. You know, she only had 999 more than me. Actually, yeah. she had 1,000 more than me. Yeah. She scored her 1,000 points this week. Our congrats. Coming up, it's Hugs and Cal. In West Virginia, the preview is next. next.